Hello Eagles, on this edition of Eagle TV 2.0, we have a global news update with Sam, a 9-11 tribute, the history of the opening of SM, and a new edition of Dear B. Kim. Get your rollerblades on because we are skating into a new episode of Eagle TV 2.0. What's up, SM? I'm Aiden Downey. And I'm George Zhao. We have an excellent show lined up, but let's first check out some announcements. Do you guys like to dance? Then don't miss out on the annual dancing with the Eagles competition. Forms are on the dance team website and are due by September 17th. As a reminder, Speak Up Ambassador applications on, and National Honor Society applications are both due by tomorrow. Sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Earlier today, you received an email about voting for your homecoming court. Voting ends today at 3 p.m., so make sure to get your votes in. That's all the announcement for today. But for more detailed announcements, make sure to check out the SM website. Moving right along, there's a lot going on in the world right now, and reporter Sam Johnson is here with a global, new, global news update. Good morning, Eagles. I'm Sam Johnson here with your weekly news recap. Let's jump right into our first story. A magnitude 7 earthquake struck Mexico late Tuesday night. There's only been one fatality and no tsunami warning as of now. The focal point of the earthquake wasn't around any major buildings or cities, so the damage was limited and not severe. On a lighter note for this week, power lifter Edith Murway Trena just celebrated her 100th birthday. She is recognized as the world's oldest female competitive power lifter, and just two years ago at the age of 98, power lifted 150 pounds. She's a great great grandmother and often brings her grandchildren to the gym with her. As a reminder, this week here at Eagle TV 2.0, we are honoring those that perished from the 9-11 attacks. We will be sharing a tribute for those individuals shortly. That's all I have for you this week, SM. I'm Sam Johnson, now let's send it back to the house. Thanks for keep, keeping us up to date. Like Sam said, we on Eagle TV 2.0 recognize the tragedy of 9-11 and are here to keep the memories of the victims alive. Let's turn it over to a tribute for the events that happened 20 years ago. driving up the five freeway and seeing the signs that the airport, Orange County Airport was closed. Leaving home to drive to school and looking, uh, watching in horror as I saw the buildings, the airplanes crashing into the buildings. Yeah, it was amazing, the heroism that they displayed. They um, rose to the occasion and just rushed right in and did such uh, amazing work, courageous work, uh, using their skills. And a lot of them uh, lost their lives or got permanently uh, injured. It's crucially important to keep all those lost on that day in our memories and our hearts. All those lost and those firefighters and first responders must be remembered so that they did not die in vain. I cannot agree more, George. But changing topics, as we are still in the first few weeks of school, I realize, it, I realize that some people around campus might not know about the beginning of SM. All right, Aiden, pop quiz. What year was SM established? Oof, that's a tough one, George. Um, I'm gonna have to say 1987. That is actually, I'm actually really surprised you got that right. That's actually correct. Um, well, Kelly Dotson's here to tell us a little bit more about the beginning of SM. Hey 
Hey Eagles, I'm Kelly and today I'm going to be telling you guys a little bit about the history of SM. In 1986, Santa Margarita first broke ground to begin building the school. The next year in 1987, the school opened to just 216 freshmen. The following year, the girls SM cross country team won the school's first ever league title. In 1989, the Talon Theater first opened with the production of The Sound of Music. Then, in 1990, the G Building began its construction. In 1991, SM launched the MUN program, and Dana Lorders became the first National Merit Scholarship finalist. Finally, in June of 1991, the class of 216 students became the first ever graduating class of Santa Margarita Catholic High School. I hope you all enjoyed learning a little bit about SM. Now back to the hosts in the studio. Thank you so much, Kelly. I feel like I learned something new today. Me too. But Aiden, I think we have someone really special in the studio here today. I do believe it's our own Brandon Kim here with another episode of Dear B. Kim. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, I'm excited to be in your presence today. Another day to be an Eagle, always great. Thank you for calling me special. Um, dear Beacon, I'm feeling unmotivated. I think after the football game, I'm going to next week, I will be better. Um, I, I'm sorry about your unmotivation. Um, I hope that you'll find motivation. But even after the football game, you'll come back and you'll see that your problems are still there. So every day, we gotta improve. Just seek improvement every single day, and you'll be just fine. Dear B. Kim, do you put your shopping cart back after using it? Yes, every time. Always put your shopping cart back. Because if you take small shortcuts in life, in the big picture, you'll start shortcutting every big decision in life. So, Dear B. Kim, what is the homecoming theme? All right, well, the big reveal. The homecoming theme is... No, no homecoming theme. Well, I can't tell you. The theme is always the same for me, home alone. Dear Beacon, is college a waste of money? Probably. College is something that I often think about. And I think that if you work your hardest and if you have a goal, then you don't need it. But if you need somebody to guide you, college is imperative. And if you want to be a lawyer or something. So B. Kim, I got a question for you. What colleges are you looking forward to? Because I know at any college you go to, you're probably going to be successful with your charisma uh -huh. and all that you got. Thank you. Um, I'm looking at some colleges in LA. I'm trying to go to a film school. Uh, but my parents think I'm going to Harvard. Sure, B. Kim. All right, B. Kim, I don't know if you play fantasy football or not, but mm. how, how does, how's the team looking, if you are? My fantasy football team is looking nice, as always. Um, I'm more of a basketball watcher, but I kind of just join it because my friends allow me to. But my team's definitely nice, and... I know, uh, well, I know one thing that's for sure. Milad Tajali's team is not nice because he actually quit the league. Um, he's too oh, scared wow. of the punishment that we have, so a lot of you're watching this, um, you're kind of a scaredy cat. Also, I have one more thing for you guys. Me and my friend Marlena Meltzer from San Juan Hills High School started a nonprofit organization that brings about food from food pantries directly to the doors of individuals and families that are food insecure in Orange County. Now, if you're watching the live stream from home, if you're watching this from YouTube, I want you guys to do one thing right now, and that's to pull up the in your Instagrams. I know you guys all have Instagram, um, and then type in as you see on the blog, bottom of the screen, Pantry Go, and then click the link in the bio to vote for us so that we can receive more funding, a $5,000 grant, so that we can bring more food to more families and help more people. Well, that's all we have for you guys on Eagle TV, TV 2.0. I'm George Zhao. I'm Aiden Downey. Thank you, guys.